A lone, fragile messenger from another star drifts into our solar system, carrying secrets the universe never meant for us to uncover. Two of the most powerful eyes humanity has ever built turn toward a single, mysterious visitor from the depths of interstellar space. Hubble saw it first, a faint flicker, a puzzle drifting across the night sky. Then the James Webb Space Telescope locked on, peering into wavelengths no human eye can see, revealing a chemistry unlike anything we've ever recorded in a comet. Together they uncovered something fragile, something ancient, a time capsule from another star system. And hidden inside it was a lesson, one that could change how we prepare for the next time something from beyond our solar system arrives. What happens when Hubble and Webb focus on the same interstellar object? With 3 i Atlas, the answer was not what astronomers expected. Hubble gave us the first clues, but those clues only deepened the mystery. Webb followed, measuring details even Hubble couldn't resolve. The result was a clearer picture, but also a stranger one. And by the end of the story, you'll understand why researchers believe this single object could reshape how we prepare for the next interstellar arrival. When Hubble first turned toward 3i Atlas, astronomers hoped it would be straightforward. Maybe it would behave like one of the two previous visitors from beyond our solar system. The first, Oumuamua in 2017, was a bizarre, fast-moving body that faded quickly and never displayed a comet's typical tail. The second, Comet Borisov in 2019, looked far more familiar, with a bright coma and streaming dust. But Atlas? Atlas refused to fit neatly into either category. Tracking it was a challenge from the start. Interstellar objects move fast, tens of kilometers per second because they're not bound to our sun. Hubble could only take short exposures before the object streaked across its detectors. Even then, the images showed something faint and inconsistent. Its profile seemed to change from one observation to the next, as if pieces were breaking off while it was still being photographed. Over several weeks, astronomers compared images. The nucleus, the solid heart of the object, appeared to fade much faster than expected. In some frames, it nearly vanished into the background. In others, it returned, but with a different brightness, like a signal that refused to stabilize. A normal comet, warmed by sunlight, releases gas and dust in a steady flow. But Atlas looked more like a flickering light in the distance, there one moment, dim the next. One astronomer compared it to watching a distant airplane at night. You see the navigation lights blink, but never the full shape of the plane. This made it nearly impossible to model its size, surface materials, or even whether it was still intact. And that uncertainty mattered. Interstellar objects are affected by radiation pressure, the gentle push of sunlight across a wide surface. If Atlas was lightweight or fragmenting, that pressure could alter its path, making it harder to predict where it would go. Different research teams looked at the same Hubble data and came to different conclusions. Some thought the nucleus was breaking apart unusually early. Others suggested it might be less dense than any comet we know. A few wondered if it was more like a rocky asteroid. The truth was, the evidence didn't fit any familiar category. For comparison, Borisov looked chemically and visually like a normal comet. Oumuamua had no visible coma at all. Atlas seemed to sit somewhere in between, but in a way that matched neither. Hubble confirmed one thing. This wasn't the simple comet shedding material in the usual way. Something else was shaping its appearance. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope came in. Hubble's visible light vision could show shape and brightness. Webb's infrared eyes could reveal chemistry. The infrared eyes could reveal chemistry, the fingerprints of molecules and minerals. Infrared light carries information about what substances are present. Every molecule leaves a unique pattern in the spectrum, like a barcode. By spreading the light into a spectrum, Webb could read those barcodes and identify the gases and solids escaping from Atlas. But there was a problem. Atlas was faint and moving fast. Webb usually studies distant galaxies and stars that barely shift in the sky. To follow Atlas, Webb had to track it precisely, adjusting for its rapid motion. 
and because infrared detectors are sensitive to both heat and brightness, keeping the object centered long enough to collect clean data was a serious challenge. Despite the difficulty, Webb succeeded. The spectra it returned showed both gas and dust, but with some surprises. Molecules common in comets, especially certain carbon-bearing compounds, were missing or present in much lower amounts than expected. Meanwhile, oxygen-related molecules were unusually strong. This suggested a chemical history very different from comets in our own solar system. If Hubble's view was like seeing a shadow on the wall, Webb's was like scanning the wall and finding out exactly what made the shadow. Borisov's chemistry had matched our comets almost perfectly. Atlas did not. Its unusual abundances raised new questions. Did it form in a colder, more volatile region than our comets? Or were we catching it in the middle of breaking apart, with its chemistry skewed by rapid disintegration? Whatever the answer, Webb had filled in critical gaps. Hubble had shown instability and flickering brightness. Webb had revealed a composition that didn't match any simple comet model. Together, they painted a picture of something fragile, alien, and not easily classified. On their own, each telescope told part of the story. Hubble showed the outline. Webb revealed the ingredients. Combined, they ruled out the simplest explanations. Atlas wasn't behaving like a solid asteroid. It wasn't acting like a typical gas-rich comet. It was something in between, or something entirely different. Theories formed quickly. The leading idea is that Atlas was unusually fragile, breaking apart long before it left the inner solar system. Another possibility is that it came from a very different kind of planetary system, where its building blocks were unlike anything here. A third idea is that solar radiation pressure exaggerated its fading, making it seem more unstable than it was. In every case, the combined data set set the boundaries. Here's what it could not be. And that's just as important as knowing what it is. Researchers are now building computer models to simulate how interstellar bodies behave when they enter our solar system. The sun's heat and radiation can boil away ices, crack surfaces, and even tear apart weak structures. If Atlas was already fragile, its survival was doomed from the start. These models aren't just about explaining Atlas, they're about preparing for the next arrival. Every interstellar object is a test of our predictions, and they're more than just curiosities. They're natural samples from other planetary systems. We can't yet send probes to nearby stars, but fragments from those systems can come to us. Their makeup tells us what ice is condensed, what minerals formed, and what kind of radiation bathed them in their home systems. With Atlas, Hubble and Webb uncovered not only what ingredients it carried, but how unstable those materials became once inside our solar system. That instability is part of the story. It's like opening a time capsule and finding the paper inside already crumbling. The message is still there, but harder to read. So far, each interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas, has behaved differently. There's no single pattern. Even with so few detections, we can already see that star systems produce a wide variety of debris. The key takeaway. Hubble and Webb prove that future visitors may refuse neat labels. Astronomers now know they need rapid, coordinated observations across multiple observatories to capture fragile data before it vanishes. The wider lesson is clear. No single observatory can tell the whole story of an interstellar visitor. Each instrument fills the other's gaps, turning fragments of data into a more complete record. The consensus is that future mysteries will demand the same kind of rapid cooperation. When the next interstellar object appears, astronomers will need faster coordination, sharper tracking, and more detailed measurements than ever before. Because each detection is more than just a passing body. It's a rare, physical sample from another star system, a messenger from beyond. And the lesson from Atlas is simple. We must be ready.